What up, y'all? Better up, cuss on the day, roll town. LSMC, getting that suspension work. Part two. That's the wheels. That's the front. That's the back. Did a little bit of cleaning up inside this wheel well. Not much, though. So. I got a mosquito trying to tag me. But, uh, yeah. You know, there's some shit going on there. But, oh, well. It'll be all cleaned up. Go around here to the front. The front is busted down. I gotta clean up this plastic yet. It might need to come out a little bit more, but put a bolt in it. Um, painted the wheel well, painted the frame, but obviously got a little dryness to it. But that's fine, we'll call it a base coat. And now I'm about to begin this frame notch. So I will be cutting a line all the way down. Then I'll probably split it right here. Then I'll cut the top. You know, up into here at least. But then I'll cut it off right in front of this hole. Won't be a cut. Take this plate out, roll this in, cut the bottom off how I want it. I'll be able to put this piece back in, cut the top off where I want it. Move the whole piece back. You've got to cut into the lower control arm mount, just this side. Get rid of about that much of it. That's fine, it's not gonna hurt nothing. Then, with this being cut, because this won't be a step anymore. It won't go out here and then in. This is the number one problem everybody does when they're notching a frame, is they go over here, then the tire, when it turns, it hits here. So. No purpose of notching it. You gotta go at least to here. And what I do, like I said, I'll roll this in, and then this is set back, and then it'll roll back out. So, I'll draw the lines and stuff on there. Maybe I'll slide a picture or two in this video. Or maybe uh, I won't. I'll just show you the next step in the next video or i'll have my wife run the camera phone whatever but yeah i'll bust it down see the boxes over there got the brand new qe1 lowers uppers all the suspension shit um all that's cleaned up painted new idler arm Obviously, that's not tightened up yet. Got the new inners, the outers, the tie rod sleeves. All going on. This side over here, same thing. <clears throat> cleaned up the wheel well. Painted the plastic. Cleaned up the frame. Painted the frame. And this one's a little smoother, but it don't matter. Once I'm done, I'll paint this area again. Just the outside of the frame rail again. Same thing over here. Of how I'm gonna cut it. So I'm gonna get both the frame notch today and bolt the suspension in it. Um, I got a charcoal colored Chevelle that I did on the Volanos. I'm gonna change something on the rear end of it, change the lower control arms and put an anti-roll on it. So this one, I'll get the front buttoned up a little bit, be able to pull it off the lift. The Chevelle's coming here right now. Be able to put the Chevelle on it in a couple hours or maybe tomorrow. Uh, warranty work, fix the back, and then he can have his car for the fourth. And I'll jump right back on this one, which um, really shouldn't take that long to do. Car runs, drives, it's got a small block in it. Heater core blew out, so I gotta bypass the heater core. But, yeah. Again, just like a four and a half, four and three quarter lip. 
Nice feels dull. Better than that bullshit. So yeah, we got the Viking back suspension kit, but I put in the uh, tie rod sleeves, which on this one, I'm using the QA1 tie rod sleeves. And adjust the nuts. Um, like I tell everybody, best way to go is the Moog tie rods. And I'm not going to be able to open this fuck about it. Okay, Moog. Inner and outer tie rods. Nice, durable shit. You'll never have to replace. As long as you own the car. And if you do, you keep the box. And then you can just grab an old one, put it in the box. Take it in and be like, warranty. We got the rear springs. We got the front springs. We got rear shocks and front shocks. We got the thrust bearing plate. That's what this is. This, this is what makes the front so much easier to turn up. And you have the bearings, the little needle bearings that are on here, which you can see. Those in between the two washers underneath the front spring, between that and the shock. And you can turn the car up a lot easier. Plus, you always have to have the anti-seize on the threads. Now, that doesn't mean you have to have the anti-seize all the way up the threads. So here's the front. So once you get the adjustable stop or the, the height adjustment knob on here, then you just got to put a little bit above it. And once you start turning it up, it'll get into the threads and it won't tear it up. It makes it easier to turn. Got to have weight off the car, up on a lift or up on a jack. You can't turn them when they're on the ground. I mean, you can, but you'll fight with it. Look at this. That's how you buy fly swatters. And you put them all over the place. So that way, there's always one by you when you want to take out one of those little bastards. Oh. All right. So you can see his exhaust pipes. Okay. Well, the exhaust pipe is going to end up exactly where the coilover needs to go. So these tails are going to have to be cut off. Now, whoever bent these, they did an awesome job on the passenger side because it's a one-piece tube tail but as you can see this side they decided to bump it up because they ran out of material or whatever i don't know but a good exhaust shop will make both of them exactly like that you don't need these extra little extensions and this and that and they extended it again here well i guess that's how it's got an extension there but anyways this is where the coilovers go right in this area you want to get them the widest out as of possible for more handling and durability you don't want them closer to the center when they're closer to the center you can you know the top would be it would be easier to lean side to side now if your car was a big tire car you know and you were tubbed out yeah of course you need to go as far not as far in but into where you need to be um so here we go right here this is what you call bondo so monte carlos they swoop, let's see, the wheel well actually comes, when it comes down right here, it actually comes back into the tire area. Well, if a Monte Carlo is not set right and the wheel's not in the right position, it looks like the wheel is too far back. It leaves a big ass gap like right here. Well, we can't be having that shit. So this car, obviously, because well, it's all Bondo, I'll be cutting down here a little bit to get rid of most of this shit. Uh, this area right here obviously needs to be rolled in. So I take my air chisel with a hammer bit that's curved, kind of like an English wheel. And I just sit here and brrrr, all on this. That's the problem area. The back, as long as you get the wheel farther forward so it looks good, the back's not much. Maybe get this area right here in a little bit. Maybe a little bit right here. But as you can see, there's so much fucking rubber on there because dude was burning out. Oh, um, yeah. Let me show you that. There's the pack two tires right there. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't do a burn on this one yet. <laughs> but yeah, as for the LSMC. 
with the Ruchis and the matching steering wheel. I'm gonna get to busting ass on this. So, y'all have fun. Hope you got a little bit out of that that can help you. And remember, better at customs. Uh, oh, here, real fast. Uh, the T type, as you can see, got some metal work done. That is sitting in there, but we're gonna pull it back out and we got the bead roller, which is that pink thing on the floor right there. We're gonna bead roll some seams in it so you don't have the pop. So we'll put some seams in it, just like this, bead roll. So the metal's stronger and durable and doesn't move and pop and make noise. But yeah, that's there. <clears throat> As you can see them bars. I need a couple more welds. But uh, the shock mount for the trunk. And of course, the metal work that's going to be done around here to patch that in. Get the tub welded in. Same thing on this side. This tub on this side just hasn't been fitted yet. Which, the tub material is right back there behind the frame. But this one's already made. The cardboard piece is right there on the floor. We just got to transfer the line from that to that piece. Cut it, form it, put it in. Um... The rear trunk hinge is over here. Totally set up. Weld it up. Got some gussets on it. So now that can go back together once the tubs are all together. So that could actually be painted. I might have to paint that today. Spray can art. Spray can art. All right, y'all. Hello, SMC. Bankroll Tim, subscribe, share, tell your friends, whatever. And I'll be coming at you with more and more. Hopefully I'll get more descriptive with stuff so that way y'all can see how it goes down. And everybody's mad at me because I guess I spend too much time making the jobs look nice. And they just want their shit next day. Well, I ain't about all that nasty shit. My shit's gotta look good. All right, Bankroll Tim out. Appreciate y'all.